is Bleach Bath for Boats. This particular boat is a 28 foot Tidewater. The customer just purchased it and when he brought it to Pensacola, Florida to have us detail it, we got on the boat and we realized very quickly that this boat was maintained with bleach. The reason why we could tell it was maintained with bleach is just by how bright white the gel coat was and by how dull it was. A lot of people wash their boats with bleach, but honestly using bleach is actually one of the worst things that you could possibly use on your boat. Every time that you use bleach on a boat, it actually causes a chemical reaction with the gel coat. So gel coat is made out of polymers and resins. And whenever you use bleach on your boat, it actually causes a chemical reaction with the polymers and resins, which causes etching in the gel coat. One of the biggest telltale signs that a boat has been either washed with bleach or you're maintaining your boat with bleach is when it has that really dull matte white look. Whenever it's bright white and there's no shine, that's usually a sign that it's been etched by bleach. Another sign is on seat cushions, like around the seat cushion right here. It will actually cause discoloration. Bleach will discolor your boat and it will discolor your vinyl over time. The more that you use bleach on your boat, the worse your boat is gonna get. Okay, so on this panel right here, we've already done all of our correction steps. Like I said, this boat was maintained with bleach. It had a really dull finish. And what we did here is we used Shine Supply Heavy Cut on a white wool pad and a rotary. Then we followed up with our Medium Cut Chop Top, which is also by Shine Supply. And we used a yellow wool pad to get a perfect mirror. And then we followed up with a foam pad and polish. If your boat or the boat boat that you may be working on is prone to mold and mildew, it's because the boat gel coat is etched and very porous. Mold and mildew will only stick to porous surfaces. So it's going to stick to seat cushions because they're porous and it's going to stick to your gel coat if it has porosity in it. If your boat is really prone to a lot of staining, if bird poop sticks to your boat and it really etches into it and then you need mold and mildew cleaners and scrubbies to scrub it out, or if you put your boat up for the season and you get a lot of mold and mildew on your surface, it's simply because your boat boat's surface is porous. You're actually giving the mold and mildew something to bond to and grip to. The number one thing that you could do to prevent mold and mildew from occurring on your boat is slicking off the surface. And that could be through wet sanding. That's going to be through buffing and polishing like we've done on here. And it's going to be by adding a protective layer. So either a boat sealant or a ceramic coating. After you put your protective steps on there, you do not ever want to use bleach on your boat. You could do all the buffing, the heavy cut, the medium cut, the polish, you put your wax on there and the second you get a little mold and mildew and you go and use bleach on your boat it will etch the gel coat all over again it's going to start that chemical reaction and you're going to notice how dull and cloudy the gel coat surface look that's because this is going to corrode and break down the gel coat after you do all of your heavy buffing steps your waxing you get it waxed up you want to use a ph balanced soap over here we actually use a product called shine supply shift soap it's a great soap to just keep your boat maintained and then we also use a product called Aftermath to wipe down our boat. The Aftermath has SiO2 sealants in there that are going to keep the boat protected, but it's also going to remove dirt, grime, and a little bit of mold spores if they occur. The beautiful thing is that if you keep your boat buffed and you keep your boat waxed, mold and mildew simply will not attach to the surface, and it's going to make cleaning your boat a heck of a lot easier.